What an absolutely insane Super Bowl. We had the Bengals, a team coming into the season that nobody thought was going to finish above last place in their own division, make it a run to the Super Bowl, almost pulling it off, playing the Rams, a team that went out, got their quarterback. They made a lot of in-season additions, gained OBJ, Von Miller. They were one of the favorites in the NFC, man. And while the Rams may have been the heavy favorites coming into the season, there's no doubt that everybody was pushing through for the Bengals, maybe some for Matt. Stafford, but I feel like a majority wanted to see the Bengals win this game and kind of, you know, fulfill that like underdog status. It was a good ass game too. Everything from the game to the refereeing was pretty good up until the final two minutes or so to the halftime show was freaking amazing for every millennial out there. But unfortunately, the Bengals could not get it done. They had one last drive. Cooper Cup caught the game winning touchdown with like a minute and 20 left on Eli Apple. Good. Fuck that guy. And then Joe Burrow had a chance to drive his team downfield, either force overtime or win the game, kind of like a Hall of Fame drive, if you say. And unfortunately, what killed the Bengals all season finally caught up to them. Their O-line played horrible like it did all season. They just could not block at all. Joe Burrow got sacked, what, six times? I think it was a Super Bowl record. If they do not go out and get this man a brand new offensive line, five new starters on the offensive line, he is going to be the next Andrew Luck and be retired by the time he's like 28 or 29. But 23 to 20 was the final score. Rams end up gained the Super Bowl. And while it may suck for the Bengals, you also got to look at the bright side. Once again, they weren't supposed to be anywhere near this game. They were maybe supposed to compete for like eight wins, maybe a 500 record, and they made a run to the Super Bowl. So they're way ahead of the curve of where they should be. They got their franchise QB. They got three really good young wide receivers. They got a young running back. Defense has a lot of money on it and it was vastly improved this year. They just need to get a bunch of old linemen. And this team's going to compete for championships for a very long time, especially in that division. Steelers are about to go through a rebuilding phase. Browns are the Browns. Ravens, I mean, honestly, the Ravens are not that good. They have some old players too. I'm not too worried about them. Bengals run the North, whereas the Rams, they have a lot of old guys. Matt Stafford's pretty old. Cooper Cup, even though he just broke out this season, still like 29. Von Miller, Aaron Donald, their coaches talked about retiring. So a lot of question marks for the Rams, plus they play in the West. So it's going to be a lot harder to get back to this game. But let's go through Matt Stafford. He got sold a lot by his team with a couple of drops, which led to an interception. Cooper Cup trying to pass him on a Philly special, and he just overthrew Stafford. But Stafford, he played decent. 283 yards, three touchdowns. Only one interception was his fault because the one was like pit, uh, tipped up and picked off. The running game was non-existent for the Rams whatsoever. 13 attempts for Cam Akers, 21 yards. And nobody else did better. Cooper Cup was the best average-wise. He's the only one that got over two yards a carry. So the Bengals were ready for the run. They stopped it. And up until that last drive, Cooper Cup was shut down for the most part. He had like 50 yards. And then that last drive, he decided to go off. But he did win Super Bowl MVP. 92 yards, two touchdowns. OBJ was balling out in that first drive. He even caught a touchdown. Really happy to see him win a Super Bowl, man. <laughs> The fucking Browns. The lamed OBJ for a lot of saying he's a drama king, shit like that. And OBJ's just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm out of here. He goes out, wins the Super Bowl, and he balls out the rest of the season. So happy to see him win. Aaron Donald kind of fulfilled his freaking legacy as one of the greatest defensive players of all time. Multiple defensive player of the year's awards. He's been a 99 to Madden, seems like, every year. Not that that really matters. He's always considered the best defensive player in the league, and he's always up there with the sack leaders, shit like that. Like, the Bengals triple-teamed him this game, and he still got two sacks and made a huge impact. But the one thing he did not have was a Super Bowl ring, so now he finally caught that. Jalen Ramsey, like... A lot of people say he's the best corner in the league. He played like shit today. Jamar Chase, I felt like burned him. T. Higgins, even though it was a flag, he obviously threw him down. He still got a long pass on him. So a lot of things went right for the Rams. Bengals-wise, Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow played good for what he has. He has no time in that pocket whatsoever. But he's still at 263 yards touchdowns, no picks, and I truly believe that Joe Burrow is going to be the face of the NFL soon. He's still young, 
get a good O-line in front of him with that receiving core, a good running game, a good receiving back. He has a lot of options on that team. Plus, he's a very liked player. He's very, very marketable compared to people like... Patrick Mahomes, even though Patrick Mahomes does nothing wrong, his family's annoying as fuck, so a lot of people don't like him and shit like that. I feel like Burrow soon will be the face of the NFL. Mixon had a pretty solid game with 72 yards, and then T. Higgins had the long pass on Jalen Ramsey where he chucked him to the ground. Two tutties, Jamar Chase, 89 yards, no tutties, Tyler Boyd, almost 50 yards, but that right there is the future of the receiving court that Joe Burrow is going to have. Combine that with Mixon, man. Like, everybody knew the offense was going to be good and the whole line was going to be bad, but nobody expected the defense to kind of ball out the way it was. Awuzie and Jesse Bates got a pick. Bates got the pick in the end zone, and then Awuzie, I think, got the pick on the tip ball. This game was just so crazy, man. It was so fun to see. Really couldn't go wrong. Matt Stafford, he was another victim to the Lions, who seemed to fuck over every Hall of Fame talent they've ever had and then you got Joe Burrow who's a young ascending player a guy who can come up and win multiple MVPs going at it back and forth game three point game the O-line kind of victimized the Bengals a little bit but like I said they will be back Super Bowl halftime show was awesome commercials were terrible they were mid other than that man this was such a great Super Bowl I'm really happy and it wasn't the Patriots it wasn't Tom Brady and it wasn't the Chiefs in it. This is the only thing that I could have asked for that would have been better than if the Packers made it. I love the underdog story, and I also like the fact that Matt Ryan, not Matt Ryan, Matt Stafford comes out his first year away from the Lions and just kind of show how shitty of an organization they were throughout his like 12 years there. But let me know what you think of the Super Bowl. What do you grade the halftime show, the game, and the... Uh, freaking commercials and everything like that. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Refereeing, I thought was good. Last two minutes, they decided to say, fuck that, save all the flags till then. But, you know, is what it is. I don't think it affected the game too much. But let me know what you think in the comment section. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.